Throughout human history, NASA's two Voyager spacecraft have helped scientists make some of the most incredible discoveries in human history. 40 plus years later, they are still collecting data, flying through space at about 38,000 miles per hour, which is approximately 17 kilometres per second. The spacecraft has gone as far as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and even Neptune. At each of these planets, the spacecraft have sent back stunning images of these strange worlds, including all the other worlds that they have gone through. All thanks to these Voyager spacecraft, ice-covered moons, deep space volcanoes and even water have been located millions of miles away from Earth. The Voyager spacecraft have travelled to places that humans can only dream of visiting. Voyager 1 is 12 billion miles away. Yes, you heard that right, 12 billion. That is about 19 billion kilometres from Earth. Voyager 2, on the other hand, is about 10.5 billion miles away, on a different route from Voyager 1. Because of the distance, it takes about two days to send communication between the vessels and Earth. However, even at that distance, they are not done exploring the universe. It is obvious at that distance that they have made some incredible discoveries. So, what are some of the most incredible discoveries from this historical space mission, and what is its next destination? Stay tuned to find out. On October 20th, 1977, Voyager 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral. A few weeks later, on September 5th, Voyager 1 was launched. One and a half years later, the two spacecraft have already made one of the most important discoveries. They were able to send an image in great detail of the deep churning clouds that floated above Jupiter. However, little did they know that there was another great discovery coming up. The Voyager spacecraft captured one of Jupiter's moons, Io. This moon revealed something so magnificent, which is the existence of volcanoes on other planets. Before this moon was discovered, the only known volcanic activity was on Earth. However, it was found that the volcanic activity on Io was 10 times greater than the amount of volcanic activity on Earth. Europa, one of Jupiter's other moons, was also a point of great discovery. The images revealed a cracked surface. This suggests that Earth was not the only planet with liquid water below the surface. As with volcanic activity, Earth was believed to be the only place in the universe to have liquid water. As the voyagers started exploring during their first few years of service, these were the first discoveries that they had made. The Voyager reached Saturn in 1980. During this time, it sent back amazing images of the planet. These images revealed a lot. For example, it uncovered an additional moon, among many other things. The Voyager explored the moons Euceladus and Titan. Euceladus was the most interesting, as it was the first time humans had ever explored it. Since then, it has been explored thoroughly. It has also been considered the prime candidate for life in the universe, other than Earth. Scientists have also discovered a lot about Saturn and its moons, all thanks to Voyager 1. As the spacecraft flew or floated past Saturn, three new moons were discovered. These are Prometheus, Pandora and Atlas. Prometheus and Pandora are efferent shepherding moons, while Atlas is an A-ring shepherd. This led to a great discovery concerning Saturn's moons. It was discovered that a huge percentage of these moons are covered in water ice, something that was unknown before. Voyager 1 also led to the discovery of new facts about Titan, Saturn's biggest moon. Titan was discovered to have a very thick atmosphere. It plays a huge role in obscuring its surface from visible light cameras and telescopes. Just like Earth's atmosphere, Titan's is mainly nitrogen. Nonetheless, when it comes to surface pressure, Titan's is 1.6 times that of Earth's. It was discovered that Saturn's top atmosphere is 7% helium, while the remainder is mainly hydrogen. Because of this discovery, scientists came up with a theory that Saturn releases more heat than it gets from the Sun. However, the atmospheric composition is not all that has been discovered about Saturn. The Voyager 1 also discovered Saturn's G-rings. The exploration of Saturn and its moon piqued the interest of scientists all over the world, particularly NASA scientists. They learned a lot from this exploration and it had a very huge impact on them. One of the things that they learned is that all moons are unique in their own way and each of them is worth studying. 
The theory that moons are just like satellite rocks floating around planets is now being proven wrong. Moons are capable of powerful things and do great things such as supporting life. As the Voyager was flying past Uranus in 1986, it was able to take the first ever pictures of the gas planet. In the process, it also uncovered 10 new moons. Not so long after, Voyager 2 flew past Triton, which is Neptune's moon. Here, the Voyager caught images of nitrogen geysers erupting. Up until that moment, this was unheard of. It changed the way that scientists viewed space and its possibilities. They all viewed space differently after this. One of the NASA pros said that, time after time we find things on Earth happening all over the solar system. The spacecraft is still moving on with its journey years after they were both launched. And as they move through the solar system, they still discover new things. Scientists are still receiving unbelievable amounts of information and data, more than they ever imagined they could receive. Voyager 1 crossed interstellar space 32 years after it discovered more about Saturn. This made it the furthest ever man-made object in the universe. When this happened, it was changed to the Voyager Interstellar Mission. The whole mission was expanded and its objectives changed to include exploring the solar system beyond our outer planets. They wanted to gather data on the heliosphere, the heliopause boundary, the sun's magnetic field outer boundaries, and the outward flow of solar wind. The heliopause, the heliosphere's farthest edge, is the beginning of interstellar space. Understanding this part could be the breaking point to understanding how the sun is related to the rest of the galaxy and its trip through the same. This may lead to an understanding of the nature of all the other stars that are spread out in the universe. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 first arrived in interstellar space. It was at that moment that scientists first got a glimpse of what the heliopores looked like. However, they could not understand what they were looking at the first time. They did discover a lot though. For example, scientists discovered that the interstellar magnetic field is two to three times greater than previously assumed. This implies that interstellar particles exert up to 10 times more pressure on our heliosphere than previously anticipated. Voyager 2, on the other hand, confirmed that the heliopause is one leaky border, and the leak goes both ways. Before passing through the heliopause, Voyager 1 flew through tendrils of interstellar particles that had punched their way into the heliopools, similar to tree roots through rock. Voyager 2, however, experienced differently. It saw a trickle of low-energy particles that extended more than 100 million miles beyond the heliopause. Scientists' way of understanding all this and the Sun as a whole was changed by this up-close and personal view of the heliopools by the Voyager. Throughout their peaceful mission through the cosmos, the Voyager spacecraft have discovered too much. However, sometimes the most amazing image captured is the most simple one. On Valentine's Day 1990, Voyager 2 turned its camera around towards Earth and captured the view of the whole solar system. This was 10 years after its launch. In the image, Earth appears as a small, single-pixel blue dot, which was almost invisible to the naked eye. That is how far it was from Earth in 10 years. This confirmed that Earth is just a tiny piece of the universe and there is still so much more of the universe to explore. What do you think of the discoveries made by the Voyager spacecraft? How far do you think the Voyager spacecraft goes? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, remember to leave a like, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos.